this video, I want to show you how you can manage and deliver your reports in multiple language in Power BI. We're going to go through it step by step together so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So as of recording this video, there are no out-of-the-box solutions when it comes to delivering multilingual reports in Power BI. But that doesn't mean it's completely impossible to do it in Power BI. So there are a couple of localization aspects that you need to be aware of. So the first is localization of Power BI, so the service itself so the menus, your navigation, and also the localization of your data in your reports. So your titles, your uh, tables, your charts. And I'm distinguishing between them because there are different solutions for both of them. So let's go through those two. So the first one, which is the localization of your Power BI service, is actually pretty simple. So from your app.powerbi.com, you go to the cog icon here, you hit settings, and then from here you can hit the language here and change your language settings here. So you can choose, um, if I choose maybe, <clears throat> we can choose maybe French. And you will see now everything in my Power BI service is French. Now if we go to one of my reports here, You'll see everything has been converted into French except the data in our report. So you can see it's all still in English. So that requires a separate solution in itself. So here I have a sample report that I created, a very simple one, which just has two tables, uh, the orders table and the products table. So if I go to the orders table, we just have some information about the orders, quantity, unit price, and then the products, which just has the product name and then the calculations which just holds the total sales to calculate the total sales between the quantity and the unit price. So in our report we only have three things here. We have the title, we have the um, card with the total sales and then the breakdown of total sales by product here in a pie chart. And in order to translate all of these into the languages that we want, we need to create two translation tables, one for our dimensions, which is our uh, products here, and a translation table for everything else. So the titles, the, the headers, the subtitles, um, and we want to be able to dynamically select which one we want to use for our report. So let's go through them together here. So what I've done, I've cheated a little bit here and if I hit the Power Query here, I've created the two translation tables here, which just translates exactly what I said. So the two tables that we wanted. So this uh, is a products translation table that just translates our uh, products in the languages that we have here. We have Spanish and we have French. And here we have the translation table to translate everything else. So we have the entities here, the titles, uh, this will be the title of the report, the subtitle, the card title, um, and this is the pie chart title over here. So what we want to do, we want to dynamically select which translation we want to use in our reports through parameters. I've covered parameters in the past. If you don't know what it is, you can check it out. But anyway, what we'll do, we'll create a new parameter here and we'll name this one language. We'll make it current value. We'll do it as a text here. And then we'll say it's a list of values. So we want a selection between English, Spanish, and French. And it's important that we keep the same kind of format that we have here because that's what we'll use as our reference. And we will default it to English and we'll hit OK. So now we have a parameter here that's not hooked up with anything, but that's fine. We'll work on it together. So now here in the products translation uh, table, we want to click the product ID and unpivot other columns. This just unpivots the different uh, languages in separate columns. So you have the um, different language here and then the values on the right. So here we want to filter it by a specific type. So text filters equals to 
and from here instead of looking for uh, typing the text manually we can select the parameter that we created English we hit OK you'll see that it's um, choosing just the English translations for us which is what we needed um, we want to be able to select the translations that we want based on the parameter right so if we go back here and let's say let's select Spanish if you go back to the products translation you'll get the exact values that you wanted in Spanish so what we'll do now, uh, we want to combine it with the products table and replace this product name with the translation. Uh, and we can do that by just doing a merge. So we will merge it with the translation table. We will do product ID. We will do value. We'll remove this and name this one product name instead. Now that the dimension, the product translation is done, we can move on to the translation table. We kind of have to do the same thing. So click on entity, right click, unpivot other columns. Because remember, we need to separate the, um, uh, the language and the values of the language. We want to filter equals, and we will do parameter by language. So you see it's getting us the uh, values, the titles that we want in Spanish. Now this one we want to make sure we enable it because we want it as part of uh, our data model when we load it. So now that's the first setup done. And if you go back here, let's test this one as well. Let's change this to French. If you go back to our translation table, you'll see it's now giving us the French translations for the different entities. Uh, should be the same for the product here. You see you got the different products here, product names in French. So now that that's done, let's hit close and apply. And let's start editing our report view so we can uh, make those changes. So the first thing that we want to do is to update our titles here. So we want this to be dynamic and not just written because I've just written it in a text box. So we can take advantage of the dynamic text that they provide here. Uh, we can hit the plus here and we can do what we need to type here is we need to type the value of title which is the filtering that we created on the translation table that just gives us the translated um, value of the sales report to whatever we selected so you can see here you see it's the french version of the sales report we hit save and then we'll delete the other one same thing with our subtitle here. We will hit the plus. We will do value of subtitle. And you'll see now it's giving us the French subtitle too. And that's it for the title. Now the next thing here are the titles of the uh, visual. So the, the tile here, the card. We can go to the format settings here under title. In the title text here, again, we don't want it to be uh, static, like typed. We want it as uh, based on a certain something. And the certain something actually needs to be a measure. So we need to create a measure for us to reference. And in order to do that, uh, uh, we'll just do it quickly here. So we'll create a new measure. We will name this uh, total sales card. And then we'll do calculate. We'll do a max of we'll do a max of the translation value. And we want to make sure we add a filter here. So the filter needs to be if the entity is equals to card title. So just to recap, the value is the translated value that we want, but the translated value that we want needs to be based on whatever entity we have on the translation table. So the entity name that we want to get is the card title. So that's why we want to add the filter context, not just get whatever value is on the translation table. So if I hit enter, now we have a measure here that we can use as our title for this card. So we hit the FX button here now on the format, on the formatting pane. And now based on field value, and the field that we want is the measure. If you click there and hit OK. 
So now you have the title but in French and we basically want to do the same thing for our other visual here, the pie chart. So we'll create one now. So we'll do pie chart title, calculate, we'll do max of the translation value and our filter is if the entity is equals to pie chart title. Hit enter. Let's go to again to our pie chart here. Let's go back to the title. Let's replace this with something more dynamic. The one that we created. Pie chart title. Hit OK. And there you have it. So now you have uh, translated reports into French. And now just to test that the parameter is working, you can go to transform here again. Let's change the language to, let's say Spanish, and let's hit close and apply. And that should change everything into Spanish as expected. And that's it for this video. I hope it gave you some options uh, when it comes to working with multilingual reports in Power BI. Leave a like on this video if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that are included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again on the next one.